welcome guys uh, so this is the 35th question of first chapter of ncert so it is asking us that if uh, the calcium carbonate react with aqueous hcl to give caclt and co2 as per the following equation what mass of caca3 is required to completely react with 25 ml of 0.75 molar hcl okay guys so uh, from this equation can we say that Two moles of HCl. Can we say that two moles of HCl reacts with one mole of CaCO3? Okay, guys. So uh, from here, I can say that one mole of HCl reacts with. 1 by 2 mole of CaCO3. Okay, guys. And it says, it is given to us that we have 25 ml of 0 0.75 molar HCl. Okay, guys. So, molarity equals to number of moles on volume. So, this equals to number of moles upon 25 by 1000. This is equals to 0 0.75. So, from here, can I say number of moles is equal to 0 0.75 into 25 by 1000. Okay, guys, this is the number of moles of HCl. Okay, guys, from this we can say that one mole of HCl reacts with half mole of CaCA3. Okay, beta. Then the required moles, required moles of CaCO3 will be equal to half into 0 0.75 into 25 by 1000. Okay, we multiply this number by half. So, now the what is the molar mass of CaCO3? Guys, what is the molar mass of CaCO3 or the calcium carbonate? It will be 40 plus carbon 12 plus oxygen 3 into 16. This is equal to 100 grams per mole. Okay. Now, this is the moles of CO3 that we have. I mean, so, the mass of CaCO3 will be equal to 100 into the moles of CaCO3. This 100 into half into 0 0.75 into 25 divided by thousand so solve this thing guys this thing will be equal to 0 0.9375 grams or this thing can also be written as 0 0.94 grams okay thank you guys